wasting time as delay is dangerous. The more you go ahead in building in this false foundation, the more you provoke people. This meeting is being recorded. Is dead on arrival. We must go back to the foundation where this problem started. You force people together into one Nigeria since 1914. You marginalize sectional in some part of the of the country up to this point. You annihilate them. You remove everything about their religion from the constitution, and you don't allow them to excel. And we have said enough is enough. You see, today we are well armed to defend ourselves our women and our children. And this is not the time when you come to our land and do anyhow and go free. So those of you who know them in Abuja that are now planning about regional government, it is dead on arrival. We are not aware and we can never accept it. Even if we are aware, it can never live to see the next day. So anybody that has anybody in Abuja that is planning regional government, it is dead on arrival. We are demanding that you must go back to the foundation. The foundation is faulty and rotten. And until you go back to that foundation, any discussion about Nigeria or is dead on arrival. We can never accept anything regional government, anything restructuring under Nigeria is dead on arrival. Biafra people, I am speaking for you. I am speaking your mind. I am speaking exactly what is your best interest. The future of Biafra lies in your hands, not in the hands of these politicians, not in the hands of these criminals who go to Abuja and fight your own freedom, fight against your own freedom. And like I said, they say they have been attacked. Nobody attacked them. If they are, if Biafra attacked them, he would not be alive to speak like this today because he doesn't even have a gun. If Biafra attack him, he would not be alive today to give this nonsense testimony in the Red Chamber. Because he will be dead. Biafra can never attack you and you remain the same and you remain alive to tell the story. But the time is coming when these people who facilitate the killings and the plan assassination of Biafra people will have their, themselves to blame. I am standing Gidigbam. Gidigbam. I am standing very, very strong, making sure that I'm taking the bullet that they are firing at Biafra people. Because their target is you. Once they believe that once they take Mazenam, they come out of the way, they will come for all of you. That is exactly what is happening in other parts of Nigeria because nobody is there to stand on the way for them. And they are annihilating people, killing them, sending them to RDP camp, and these idiots are not talking. But you see this one? I told them, you see this face? Okay, this is the matter very well. It will deceive you. I thank you every more, everyone. In Italy, all of you in Italy, if you know you are yet to support this government, you are wasting your time. And delay is dangerous. Today, we will continue to delegitimize Nigeria, both their secu terrorist security men, those who is not even security men, because giving them security, attaching security to their name is kind of elevating them. They are all terrorists. And they must be decimated. They must be neutralized. Any of them in Biafra land, we have told them and given them mandate. Withdraw Nigeria army from our land. Withdraw the police from our land. Withdraw every arm carrying security personnel under Nigeria from Biafra land. Otherwise, they will all be neutralized because they have killed our people enough and we have risen up to say enough is enough. You can't come to our land and kill our people and go free. We will fight them until the 2nd of December and beyond. And I want every one of you to understand that the momentum of the Biafra liberation today have necessitated all the discussion you see. Everybody is talking. Release Mazenam the Kano. Release. Why are they keeping him? Some of them claim that he was not uh, uh, fighting the war and fighting, but you kidnap him. Some of them are now addressing him as a gentleman, but he went and they kidnapped a gentleman. Right? They say, oh, he was, he's, he's more reasonable. He's not, a, but you kidnap him. What was you, what were you thinking? All of them contributed money. When Mazenam the Kano was speaking, it was their headache. They couldn't sleep every day. Oh, Mazenam the Kano, he's destroying Alibo. Oh, Mazenam the Kano, he's doing this, he's doing that. Today, 
Imagine the car is no longer, no longer destroying Alibo. Imagine the car is no longer causing problem. Imagine the car is no longer is the is the good man. He is the only man now that is very reasonable. <laughs> and I have not even started because you see what Oto, Aga Kun Nigeria Igwe. Aga Kun Nigeria Igwe. Okuigwa Ibulugeburu. Aga Kun Aga Kun Nigeria. Before second of this, all we need is your support, financially and otherwise. The foundation for the liberation and independence of Biafra yeah, has been laid by this government and it is very, very strong. We build this particular foundation of the liberation on solid rock. Are you not seeing it? We are not shaking. All we need is your support to push this particular struggle to the next level. And you know the next level is by taking all their terrorist barracks, taking all the government houses. That is the next level we will go because it is part of the defense of our land. These places are places where the attack against our people are being planned. 300% kidnapped from Abba. They are saying that some people have been released. We don't want to give any credence to that. We have not seen any release of anybody. They must make video. The same way they make video, why they were kidnapping them, we want to see the video, why, how they are releasing them. I know why I'm saying it. If they don't do it, the repercussion and the consequences will be, will be heavy on them. It may not come today, but it is going to come. Aga Konde Ayigwe, Woto Woto. Believe me, when they think that it is over, that is when we are starting. So I'm talking to you, the war is going on in Imo State, the war is going on in other parts of Biafra land, and we are not backing down. When they're going to stop is when we're going to start. So we need, the Biafra Defense Forces need your support like never before. Like never before. Don't forget that we are also fighting Nigeria diplomatically. In international stage it is not only about defending ourselves with guns we have to also fight nigeria diplomatically in international stage and that's where we are now and this need your support like never before if you know that you have not registered to be a finland declaration my brother i don't know what you are doing honestly because this is a history that you cannot miss i rest my case here and thank you italy for your support so far looking forward to see many of you who are yet to support who knows someone in italy that are yet to be part of the support of the liberation of biafra to reach out to them the time is now it is no longer the time you stay by the fence and watch with your eyes what is going on simon Ekpa has come to finish this job you can never bring me down the more you fire at me the more i will collect the bullet and build more armor to myself i am telling you the fact I want when you are firing me. That is when I get stronger because I will collect all your bullets and build my own armor and deal with you. Thank you very much. The time has come. The time they say that those who kill their father will rise up and fight. We have risen up and we are fighting them today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. could you please play that uh, mm -hmm. music from Italia that you were to play before to cap up uh, BM speech? Then okay. after you want uh, you want me the flute uh, player to also give uh, his own side of. Uh, okay, okay, hold, hold on, uh, Minister of Finance, just one minute. Let's uh, get uh, this uh, job quickly. Um. Uh, Hello, Oja. Please get ready with your Oja. Very important. Very important. Get ready with your Oja. Very, very important. Let's um, we'll play this one. Okay. Fiemo de como. Fiemo de como. If you no green, you green, you go green, yo. Fiemo de como. Fiemo de como. Fiemo de como. I no go green, I no go green, you go green, yo. Simone pa de como. Our PMO de Como PMO de Como You know, 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 
He says, I see the combo. You know, 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 I don't want to know. Yes, on a I say, I I I see the beef for Bodo in the Shale. They sabo to us, don't they collect Woto Woto? Remember, say, you get one man, what do they call uh, the president of um, common people, what do they call bracket the family? Uh, we can call put for the ambassador of Finland, uh, Conde Lament, uh, based on some things we say they happen. Uh, Conde say, uh, Simon Ebadi, Simon Ebadat. Uh, because uh, Simon Ebad them are trying to fight for the freedom of their people and you see these people they have been having sleepless nights uh, they don't want to sleep uh, because a man of justice uh, is fighting for his own people and he's saying and uh, now no uh, this thing that uh, my people are passing through that's enough that enough is enough that it's not going to happen again meanwhile then i'm asking uh, is simon Eba, uh, the one that is affecting the the general nigeria economy is simon Eba the one that is uh, killing production of oil in nigeria is, is he also the one uh, that is affecting uh, uh, what is happening in the nation or the insecurity in the north or even in the insecurity in the southwest or the insecurity in the sub-saharan or the insecurity uh, in the in, in the Niger Delta Okoma and the rest of them uh, the only place they are focusing uh, is the Biafra land uh, every time uh, you see the government putting in soldiers, putting in armored tanks, putting in all kinds of things uh, to make sure uh, that the fight for freedom uh, is frustrated. But one thing uh, every freedom fighter should know is that freedom does not come easily. Freedom is not what you just come by. There are prizes to pay for freedom. And these, these prizes for freedom are not cheap. They are not some cheap prizes you can just pay. Uh, they are big prizes that you pay for freedom in order to be able to be free. And for the past 30 years, the, the struggle for, to, to have a nation, the struggle to have, have a kingdom, the struggle to have a place, has not actually ended because uh, the people who are fighting for freedom and one day all of a sudden uh, decides to give up uh, i think that that will become the the end of such and that particular people because in a fight for freedom is not uh, what you just uh, give up and say uh, and once you have started Mebele, you must continue because whatever you have started, you must take it to the to the end. Meanwhile, I see that before the other for the information where we say they drop from my table. Uh, for the information where we say it they drop from my table down now, uh, clashes don't go uh, between the bed of the NIG army uh, and the men of the between the men of the NIG army and the men of the Biafra Liberation Army and I see the B 
Uh, they say they don't report the reports of Woto Woto. Say those men of the NIG them boys say they don't collect Woto Woto waiting no good. I ask, I say, oh, what did they happen? Uh, they say now the uh, Biafra uh, uh, military soldiers so say that they, they do things for that Obe. Uh, where we say the people say. I say, oh, you say, <laughs> they say the boys the vessel. <laughs> You know, shall I? Uh, be why? And the bank is on that Bacana Guacanado, more than do, more Mulamu, on that Bacana Guacanado, on that Bacana Guacanado, more than do, more Mulamu, who poop, who poop, who poop, who poop, who poop, who poop, who as the people don't finally go back to Wakanodo, and I didn't then go to collect the the outcome of whatever that is coming out for me. <laughs> they say sad end, powerful politician confirmed that protests Nigeria police give approval to citizens. <laughs> they say Nigeria police self uh, don't go give approval to citizens of NIG say made they protest for their right to <laughs> uh, because police serve the hungry, army the hungry, um, what do they call them? Civil defense the hungry. Uh, every single person will be say he day for the Obodo, all of them they hungry, hunger they everywhere. <laughs> they can't hunger where they serve, uh, they'll be the hunger where you say yourself go fish stop. Uh, that guy hug away the in the wire police, in the wire army, in the evil wire court man. So police themselves don't say, uh, say may the protest continue. <laughs> police say they are hard day inside. Say the citizens want to protest, say may they protest. Say, uh, say they know they again for all these things where they happen. <laughs> the police will say they don't tire. Say they don't tire. Uh, as it be, as it be, the police people say they don't tire for the things where we say they stop, they cut a horse, and it they happen for the Obodo. Hug another day, police say make people protest. <laughs> and remember the president of NIG, Bola Ahmed Tinubu of Ndi Obodo, yeah? Uh, the president Bola Abel Tribu of Izidiobodo have approved the 70,000 minimum wage for workers. Of course, you know that is going to mean uh, that minimum wage for startup work in Nigeria is going to be from that 70,000. And I'm asking um, hotels and um, what is it called? Other uh, facilities, how are they going to uh, procure that particular? Uh, how are they going to procure that uh, particular body in order to be able to sponsor their employees even though that in nigeria here uh, all these companies um all these restaurants these fast foods uh supermarkets and the rest of them uh, should i say uh, that the workers are being ripped because uh, what they are paying the workers is peanuts compared to uh, what these workers are working out and be honest with you whatever they are paying these workers is a peanut to compare to what they themselves are working out uh, because uh, you they work they, they pay you 30,000, 25,000, 80,000 even now uh, POS operators are even any money now no, I'm not just talking about owners of POS stand I'm talking about um, I'm talking about people who are working for POS owners some of them are even earning 30,000 now, 35,000. Uh, if you go to POS, someone that has a good POS stand that is doing enough business, uh, you see that person even paying uh, his workers uh, up to 30,000 and the person will still be giving them food money or maybe transport money daily. And this will let you know that uh, common POS workers are now earning more than the government workers. And the police have said that the citizens have the right that the citizens have the right to protest and tell the government waiting be the matter. Government now what for you? 
Um, even police people say don't tire because uh, policeman, uh, when you lose in family, uh, nobody, 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 they even say, okay, uh, policeman don't lose in family, oh. uh, make we help the policeman small, oh. uh, say, make the government they take care of their children. Myself, I have a family, uh, a cousin that their father was a policeman. He died in the duty while we were still 10 years. You could imagine me uh, 10 years back. I was like, i but I'm not If you imagine me 10 years back and imagine how old I am now, I'm telling you that since that time, police family has not been able to take care of these people. First of all, they were kicked out of the barracks. The gratuities were not paid. And every other thing that happened to this woman as a widow who is mourning her husband that the government is supposed to take proper care of, the government did not do it. The government uh, made sure that the woman and her children were frustrated, or even the police government made sure that these people were frustrated. Because uh, why would you, why would you uh, uh, employ somebody and the person die on the act of duty and the family because of this now become fugitives meanwhile you know that as it be where it never be before now here i go the wind out the curtain